dark forest in the countryside. In the forest there lived a clay man. The clay man liked the forest, and the forest liked him. The people from the nearby village had often wondered who he was and where he came from. Did he have a mother and father, or brothers and sisters? The clay man used his body to grow small plants and trees. One day, whilst he was walking in the forest, he tripped over a fallen tree and fell into a big hole. The clay man was badly hurt by the fall. His body was damaged and he needed help. Eventually, he was able to stand up and look around himself. All he could see was rubbish, old bikes, bottles and broken furniture. Despite his injuries, he managed to climb back out of the hole. The clay man entered the village to find help, but the villagers were scared. They thought he was a monster and ran away screaming. The clay man soon became tired and fell asleep. As he slept, some of the braver villagers crept up to take a good look at him. The longer the clay man slept, the bigger the crowd grew. Suddenly, there was a strange loud noise coming from the clay man's tummy. Perhaps he is hungry, muttered one of the villagers. Get up, clay man! Can we get you some food? shouted a boy from the crowd. The clay man got up and smiled as the boy threw a tin can towards him. Eat this, said the boy. One by one, the villagers all began throwing rubbish at the clay man. They hurled television sets, old cars, mattresses, and anything they could think of. They wanted to get rid of their rubbish and did not care how it affected the clay man. The clay man ate for days and days and days. When he could eat no more, he slept. He slept for three days and three nights. And when he woke up, his body had turned grey. The trees and plants on his body had shriveled and died. The villagers could tell he was slowly dying. They left him to die in the rubbish, where his body began to fade until nothing was left. The boy who had thrown the tin can at the clay man felt a little sorry, and decided to plant a tree where his body had been. He hoped it would grow.